Oh my gosh, what do you think of this one? <laughs> well, there's the rest of the young. And uh, one, two, three, four, it looks like five young uh, coming on. They're, they're decent age, they're getting up there. And uh, they all have their, their mouths open waiting for a handout. And it looks like someone's feeding them dried mealworms. Yes, it and, does. Uh, so I bet you they're cold. Now, is, that's too. a pretty big brood, right? Five? That's about right. Yeah, four and five is a good number. Six gets pretty big. Mm -hmm. Three's a little small. So we see a lot of times five is a great number to say. If you go, how many are you going to have? It's probably going to be five. So when you're monitoring your bluebird box and you, you want to know when the, when it's, what the schedule is going to be, you start watching, you get the first egg, and then you check daily. Uh, the, those birds will not sit on the eggs until the last one's laid. Mm -hmm. So they want them all to hatch at the same time as opposed to sequentially. So they won't start incubating with the first egg. So you just count and say on day five of laying, they've got fifth egg, and you come back to day six, there's still only five eggs. Mark that on your calendar. From then you start counting, and you're going to look at the, the roughly two weeks, maybe 17 days, 18 on the outside, 14 on the on the. 13 on the quick side, they're going to hatch. A lot of it depend on temperature. Yeah. And then they'll start feeding. So you can get some idea what's going on. You can look in there every now and then. And then once they're young and they're in there, you can check them every now and then too. We've gone over how to do that before. But, uh, once, of course, once the young get up to beyond 10 or 11, 12 days old, you just leave the box alone because yeah. they may jump out on you right. a little early. But and I love the dad's look on his face. It's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I got a lot to do here. <laughs> With five ones all yelling at him to be fed. One of the things I love about the calendar is I think birds, through them, it's such a beautiful way to see the seasons. And I always yeah. think, you know, at the beginning of spring, how beautiful it is to see the bluebirds come and start yes. nesting and having their, yes. their babies. So thanks to Marilyn Burke for that.